Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Nice Samo, to meet you. Hi. You hi, too. Man. Nice wagon. <laughs> hey. Hello. Moi. 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 Hello. How are you, Anina? Good. good. How are you? Very good. Tough day? Tough day. Nice car you got. Thank you. I'm going to get comfortable. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm glad you fit your 193, so I thought maybe... 91, but it's all right. Okay. Oh, well, good. But with the high heels, maybe 195. Maybe. So you know how it works? We only have four minutes time, and I, I ask heard. a question, but I have some bold statements. I watched your clips actually, and um, I, I was a bit worried that you don't you don't have any time to. I mean, it's too short. It's very short. I know. That's why uh, I but tried to put in as much as. You had some of my idols in the program. So let's do it oh, four minutes. Ooh. Ronan was the last one Ronan. I watched. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah, he's very cool. Good. Okay. So, ready, set. Samuel Harbour, you love to be a star and to get driven around in a limousine like this one here. Yes, that's why I uh, said yes to your invitation. That's really? Just because of the car? No, not only because <laughs> of the car, but uh, actually there's not that many limousines around anymore. It's true. They, they drive you around with uh, vans. Yeah. That's a bit boring. Uh, well, we're here for that. Cool. But actually you are not born a star, but you, you had a, a hard work to become one. You founded Sunrise Avenue in 92, that's uh, 25 years ago. Yeah, the kind Sunrise of, yeah. kind of. And then when you reformed the band, you had troubles finding a record label, you had about 100 rejections. Then a fan yes. and a friend, he sold his house to help you finance your very first album. I mean, that's crazy. And then it was that successful. It sounds like a fairy tale come true. Sometimes you still don't believe it. Yeah, but if somebody would come to me these days and say like, hey, I have some songs, I have a producer friend, and then a guy who sold his house, we're going to use all the money for albums, I'd say like, don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. But uh, it's a cool story, uh -huh. and I think it's better to have something after fighting for it than something coming because easy to you when you're like 18 years old. No. I mean, look at the teeny stars, many of them, I don't know, but I'm also very fucked, so. <laughs> you don't look like it, no, no. No, but it's, I mean, good things sometimes take time. Like, That's you know, true. if you want to have a, something fun or good in your life, it doesn't come easy. Your new album is out in October. You're going to go on your Europe tour then. And it's also the start of the new season of um, the Voice of Germany. So actually, it's not a coincidence, but your album sells better when your face is on TV. Absolutely. It's, I mean, I love you and love driving with you. But I mean, the reason I'm doing this really is that I'm promoting Sunrise Avenue album. Let's face the facts, but I mean, that doesn't make the album any worse. No, it doesn't. And it's actually, this promotion thing can be quite much fun. Heartbreak, um, Heartbreak Century is the, is the name of it. Uh, it's all about love, loss, loss, lust, lust and lies. You've lies. lived through all of that. Oh, well, plenty of them. And what shaped you most? What? What shaped you most? Love, I guess, because when you fall in love, it's like the world around you is perfect, but when you lose it, the world around you is like burning hell. So uh, I think, I mean, you broke your heart. I, um, I did. Admit it. I, did. I, I mean, did. you should anyways, yeah, and I you learn a lot. You learn a lot when it happens. But that, so I can really say that the best songs are written drunk or heartbroken. You've done both. Yeah. What's better? Heartbroken drunk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. good. Well, talking about heartbroken, you're not heartbroken. I know you don't really talk about your private life, but uh, it's, uh, it's known that you have a girlfriend since seven years. No. No? Yes. No, it's not true. It's not true? No. You don't have a girlfriend? No. No. Okay, you don't want to talk about it. No, and I don't talk about it, but it's not true. Okay, good. Um, so let's change the... Uh, you... Well, yeah, okay. What is true then? A lot of things are true, but it's true that I don't talk about my uh, private, life. private life, but it's not true. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Let's leave that way. Let's leave that there. Did, did you turn Anina. from... Yeah, 1010. Zero, one, zero. I'll, I'll no, no, it's 2-1, two, one, actually. <laughs> um, you turned 41 in, um, in, April. in April. That's true. That's true. You hate getting older. Huh? You hate getting older. I love getting older. Every year feels a bit better and I, ho I can't wait to be like 68 because I guess then it'll be like peaceful and nice and All just right. playing around. Yeah. But now with 41, time to settle down, have kids and uh, family. That's not the worst idea in the world, no? but I mean, now it's time to get on tour with Sunrise Avenue and do the voice Maybe every yeah, Sunday. Yes. Every <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you talk five languages, Spanish, Finnish, Swedish, German and English. German, why are we having this conversation in English? I say you're too lazy. No, that's not true. I really speak Finnish and speak really good English, kind of. Then I speak a little bit of Swedish and Spanish, and then I speak very little bit German. Uh, it's good, I heard. The, the two crash cars. Mm. Oh, we're almost done. Your next, the next language you learn is Swiss German. Yeah, Grüezi. Ich bin Samo von Sandra. Can you say um, 
it is Hoogie Gasly, you know already now. Hoogie Gasly? Hoogie Gasly, that's good, it's kitchen drawer. Or mm. kitchen drawer, Hoogie Gasly, yeah. Hoogie Gasly. Or Gusselgrube. Gusselgrube, that's the thing here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The trash bin. The oh, I thought it's a Staubwiedel. No, 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 no. Well, it was that four minutes? Yeah, I know. Fuck! You know, I wanted to ask you one thing and I didn't get the time to. The, in every interview I read about you, people ask you about your drinking habits. I mean, aren't Finns like drunk the whole day? Or I don't get where it comes from, but maybe like there's a famous director in Finland called Aki Kauris Maki and he produces movies about like Finns being drunk all the time. <laughs> then people that? come to Helsinki and they're like, as Swiss, as Germans, as... I think the British people actually drink even more. And they're like, you're just drinking beer and behaving nice. You're not like fighting all the time and like farting and pissing on the streets. And it's like, no, no. where does it come from? Okay. It's okay. like not every Swiss person is only eating chocolate and cheese and no. having a cuckoo clock in their back pocket. And we don't all have cows at home. That's you true. do. No, I don't. You would look but really no. good. I like, you know, yeah. actually doing that. What do you call them? I, I don't know if that's a compliment. It is a compliment. <laughs> it's a really that was. So can we do something? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.